Hello and welcome to the Steamworks. Uh, today I'm going to review a game I found um, on Steam. It's called Race Room Racing Experience. Now, I don't know what you're going to think of this game. I really, I really, really don't. Okay, but after this, I am confident that you will not want to download this game for free. You see, I have got an A5 piece of paper that contains nine tenths. Okay, nine tenths of this paper. Um, piece of paper is negatives. One tenth, okay, is positives. Hooray. The first thing I noticed about this game was that the introduction just goes on forever. This angered me so much. It just, look, this game looks really cool. It looks amazing. But the thing is, it'd be nice if I could play it pretty soon, okay? Um, even I could skip it, but the introduction was too cool to skip so there you go introduction too cool to skip even though you want to play the game that's just pathetic re pathetic reason so um yeah the biggest one um biggest one meaning biggest negative about this game was there are no car physics you heard me there are no physics in this game or none that i actually found turning corners doesn't work it just does not work. You need physics in a game to do things. It's just... Oh. Right, calm down a little. Well, I'm not going to calm down for much longer because there were no brakes. There were no brakes in this game. There were no brakes. There was no... Um, there was a reverse. That didn't count as a break, apparently, because, like, that doesn't happen in a video game. I mean, like, every single game has done it except this one. Uh, no handbrake, um, so that means doing handbrake turns to turn on women just does not work. Um, so yeah, if you try to pull a bird by playing this game, guess what? You can't do handbrake turns. So uh, yeah, that, that's that's sort of my first couple of angry rants. Uh, let's get on to some more. Um, when you log into the game for the first time, okay, well every time, yeah, it asks you, right, um, you have to make an account, you have to enter your email, make a password, then it sends you a verification email. Why can't it tell you this beforehand? I mean, I didn't read the description too much. I don't think it mentioned anything about registering, okay? But, conveniently, there was a little button, okay? There was a little button saying, um, register later, and I clicked it. Now, it limited me to one car and one map okay now that isn't a good way all right for, like because um this is uh, presumably they, i think did they call it this an open bait or beta i don't know whatever you call it these days i don't know it uh yeah open beta um game so it's sort of like to get people interested like war thunder that's it like war thunder right Except War Thunder, you expect to make an account. With this game, alright, on Steam, okay, you don't expect to make an account. Because I've got a Steam account, you see? You see? I'll let him, I'll let the game access my Steam account, if it wanted to, to get my email and stuff. There is way too much advertising in this game. Like, every corner there's a billboard saying, Race Room Racing Experience. Or the creator, the company that created the game, I, I'm not, I can't even remember the name. That's just pretty much it so i suppose no it's not it actually because i've just found something the controls are messed up there is no wasd in this game it is the arrow keys you are well three of the arrow keys because no 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 all the arrow keys because um usually you count reverse as a break but no no that doesn't happen in this game so yeah you got forward reverse left and right as your like sort of maneuvering controls so that helped going around corners. So I found some pos some positives. Okay, the graphics are good. Okay, I like the graphics. They, they did a good job on the graphics. Okay, the sounds are pretty cool. I liked going. It's pretty cool. Um, the car looked good. You noticed I said the car. Uh, I was only limited to one car. So that, that's what I called it. After two seconds of accelerating, I was about, I was at over 100 kilometers per hour. That's ridiculous. No 
no car uh, in two seconds can reach over 100 kilometers per hour. It's not even doable. Ugh. So thank you for watching this uh, episode from the Steamworks. I hope you enjoyed. Until another day, thank you and goodbye. <laughs>